Hey everyone, I wanna show you how you can test your internet connection using a nice little utility. I'm gonna show you how to set it up so all you have to do is open your terminal like this, type in speed test, hit return, and it's gonna run a check using speedtest.net. And what this does, actually I'm gonna walk you through it in a second here, but we'll let this run. It's gonna test all the different things Come on. All right, guys, before we get going, make sure you get subscribed, hit the little alert button. You know the deal, get it done. All right, let's hop into it. I'm gonna revert my system back to what it was so that I can walk you through the whole process. Be right back. All right, I'm back. I got my system all cleaned up and ready to go. So, what we need to do first is we need to download this command line utility. But before we begin, I want to make sure you see that I'm set back to normal. So I'm going to open up terminal, command space bar to get the spotlight, command plus to blow this guy up, and I'm going to type in speed test. No command found, nothing's happening. So let's get this set up. We're going to open up uh, Safari. And we're going to go to speedtest.net. This is where we're going to grab the utility from that we want to get. We could run the speed test the normal way on my device and let it run and get the stats very easily, right? Any device can go to speedtest.net and run this. Um, but we want to be able to do it from the command line. So... What I'm gonna do, not even gonna let this thing finish. I'm gonna go to the end of this and I'm gonna actually type in apps slash CLI. And I'm gonna hit return. And this is where we're gonna get the command line utilities. And it's gonna say for developers, but really anybody can do this stuff, come on. It's really not that hard. So the install options are the difficult, for more of the developer or someone that might be feel more comfortable within uh, the command line, or you could do the download. So I'm just gonna download it and grab it. All right, so you can you you can do this on Mac OS, Windows, Linux, FreeBSD. Basically, you can do it on any of these and from the command line. So it's super slick. Um, now that I've downloaded this, I'm just going to go to my desktop. You're going to see it here. I'm just going to double click this file. And then I'm going to open this up. And there is the speed test, right? So what I want to do is... If I open up the terminal, all right, so I'm just gonna drag this onto the terminal like that and hit return. And you're gonna see that it's asking me to type yes. In an enterprise environment, I wouldn't wanna have to type yes. So I actually ran what's called a strings command against this executable and saw that it had an extra option to basically accept the agreement. So I can run the command and not have it ask me for this. So right now, what I'm gonna do is just type yes. It's gonna run, it agreed to the agreement, but I'm gonna show you how to remove that. So we're just gonna let this run. And finish. So now I want to just arrow up. I've got speed test. I want to see. So right here, you're looking at, I'm using this server. So that server can change anytime. Uh, if I want to choose that server and if I want it to run with that server all the time, what I need to do is I need to look at all the servers. 
and I want to look at the IDs of the servers. So I'm going to do a minus capital L and I'm going to hit return and it's going to show me all the available servers I have to run my speed test against. I actually like this 8865 Century Link. So I'm going to arrow back up. I'm going to remove the L. I'm going to do a minus lowercase s and I'm going to type in 8865 and I'm going to run it and you're going to see that I have selected the server that I want to run. All right, so I'm going to hit Command K to clear the screen. If I arrow up and I remove all of that and the S and I replace that S with an H for the help screen, we're going to go in here and you're going to see I can choose all sorts of different stuff, right? Um, but one thing that I want you to notice is you're not going to see the, the accept agreement in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the file that the agreement is in so that it prompts me for the agreement again. And then I'm going to show you that we can run this command without having it prompt. So I'm going to arrow up and I'm going to, this is the location of that file. If you're looking for it, you just remove it. Now I'm going to hit command K again and I'm going to arrow up and I'm going to use that server and I'm going to type in dash dash accept dash license. And that actually is going to license acceptance recorded, continuing automatic. So it ran it without asking me. All right, so our next step is now that we know this long command, you know, wherever I want to put this, I just need to copy this whole folder to wherever. So if I want it in the applications folder or wherever I want it, I'm gonna need that location because what we're gonna do is we're gonna set up an alias. Cause right now, if I arrow up, you're gonna notice that I have to type in this whole long URL to get to it. And I gotta type in all this information. I'm gonna copy that into an alias so we can just type speed test. All right, so we're gonna go, whoa, nano, dash, underscore, profile. And you're, and I'm gonna add that alias, and I wanna do speed test equals, and I'm gonna paste that long line in there, right? Control X. And a Y, hit return. And then what I need to do is I need to source. So I need to refresh my shell. So I need to source tilde slash. So now that I sort, uh, I refreshed my bash profile, I can now run this whole thing just by typing in speed test. Boom, shakalaka. Know what I mean? That's how you get it done. That's awesome, man. If you guys have used other commands, so I've used all sorts of different solutions for uh, determining uh, download and internet speed. Um, I've used curls, WGAT, all sorts of different solutions. Uh, we've even created our own kind of oddball solutions here at, at my work, where I work and uh, just to mess with that stuff as well. Um, if you've done some creative stuff, definitely let me know in the comments. I would love to hear what kind of solutions you guys have come up with. It's called a tentacle and it hooks onto my phone so I can put my phone anywhere because I need my notes, man. When I do these videos, I got to be able to see my notes. 
because uh, I'm kind of trying to talk through a bunch of stuff. But yeah, uh, it's kind of a nifty little gadget. There's a link down in the description if you want to check that thing out. It's called the Tentacle. But you guys have a great week. I will chat with you next week. Take care.